box is cool. We got him. We got me. I had quite the bee adventure yesterday, a bee adventure I did not anticipate. And it became such an adventure and such an event that I ended up having to make two videos out of it to be able to document what happened. In the first video, I'm gonna show you what happens when you leave bees in a swarm trap for too long. And in the second video, I'm gonna show you how I decided to deal with those bees. All right, enough talking. Let's go to the video. Got a little swarm trap success. Hung these up a while back. Haven't checked them in a while. Um, she's right here kind of by a busy road back here behind this warehouse. We're in Dothan, Alabama, but there we go. We got bees in and out. So, uh, I have no idea what this hive looks like, what this form looks like, how good it's going to be. Um, but we will get in them here. I'm going to give them a few days, just probably leave them here for a while. And then check into them and see how they're established. Got another trap right down there. You can see the orange strap. Nothing in it yet. So this has been a good spot for me for the past few years. A few weeks ago, I set out some swarm traps. It's been actually probably a couple of months ago and I checked them a few weeks ago and we had some bees in this box right here and I just haven't been back out here in a while. Let me show you this right here. I've got to get these bees to move to a new location. Swarm trap, it's just been, I kind of moved in. I saw some bees finding out, I left them alone. Look at these bees right here. It's a swarm trap, it's just hanging up here in Dothan, Alabama. Now, obviously that box is packed with bees. I've not taken them down and looked inside yet. There's the hole which is going in and out. That swarm is obviously doing really well. This has been one of my go-to locations for years here in Dothan, Alabama. I've caught many, many swarms at this exact spot right here. I've got a nail up in the tree. Let me show you something else here. I'll walk over here. So it's kind of grown up back here now. My truck. Let's walk over here, slide. Pull my truck up right here behind them. And I pulled up and I said, could it possibly be? Check this out. This other box I got up here is probably, uh, it's not very far at all. Maybe 20 or 30 yards from there. Look at this. Another swarm. Same basic location, just a little ways away. And uh, anyway, I caught these two swarms here. I have no idea when this one moved in. I really don't know for sure when the other one moved in. Um, but they've been here a while. That one over there has been there probably over a month and I'm not, I really don't know about these, but obviously they've had a chance to get established. So we gotta get them to their new home, get them out of here before they swarm again. All right, I don't have my mic here with me, but we're gonna get these bees off here. I'm gonna try and get them. Hopefully they won't be too mean. I'm gonna try and sit them down on the ground and just kind of peek in and you can see how crowded they are inside the box.
Well, the box is so heavy, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pick it up off that tree very easily, especially with all those bees hanging on it. Gotta figure something out here. Okay, uh, hive is too heavy to get up without with just my little veil on, without a jacket slide. Found this little jacket. I don't have all my good stuff with me. I'm just kind of passing by here this afternoon. So got an old bee jacket. It's got a new veil on it, but an old bee jacket. I want to see if I can get them off. They're extremely heavy. So I don't know. It's going to be a challenge for me. My box is, my box is full. We got them. They got me. Okay. All right, they are down there in the box. So we will move over to that area where you can see better. Over here. You see all these bees flying around up here? the box is up on that nail. Because that was so difficult and heavy, I think I'm just going to peek into this one right now and uh, see how they're doing. Obviously, they're doing well. I'm going to show you what it looks like inside this box. Like I say, I, I go back and look. I might be able to decide when I first found this swarm, but it wasn't near this strong when I found it. It was before the last big honey flow. It's been at least a month or six weeks. I don't know. It's been a while. So I've just left them out here hanging on the tree. They've done great. Let me just see what we got here. We're out here in Dothan, Alabama. This is back behind Keystone Automotive. A spot I've caught a lot of swarms in the past. It's been kind of my go-to place. Um, had a lot of success out here. Let y'all know I appreciate you, my viewers all over the world. Uh, you like these videos hey if you would just hit that red subscribe button make it turn gray and then when that bell pops up click on it as well to see future videos from me this, this is gonna be pretty cool i do believe i hope you can hear me i don't have my mic so let's see what we got all right now this hot box has not been touched or opened up really since I put it out here, I don't believe. And as you can see, it's totally packed with bees. Now, one of the things about this box that's gonna make it a little difficult, I believe, this is a double medium box, and so there's gonna be comb. This is my prediction. Probably gonna be comb built on the bottom of each of these frames that we'll have to scrape off to get in a regular hive. So let's see what we got. We're not too aggressive yet anyway a little bit on the bottom of that one now that was the one of the very front the entrance is right down here so it looks like the rest of the box is packed with comb though let me see oh yeah look at this oh my goodness now there's comb on the bottom of the frame right here look at that beautiful brood right there on the bottom of the frame it's going to have to probably be removed whoop there went a piece of comb so as is is typically the case with bees they don't like empty space so they have filled this box out not only the frames they've also drawn out comb on the bottom of the frames it's going to toss that it doesn't have much brood or anything in it man i really let this go too long Look at all these bees, guys. Look at all these bees. I am so impressed. All right, we got the same situation here. The comb just fell off in the bottom. And they're almost time bound, so. They are in desperate need to be moved and put in a bigger box. 
um, or split or something or else they're gonna just be honey bound and abandon the hive possibly. Yep, sticking to the bottom again. There's some bigger comb right there. But they don't have any room to put all this up here in the main frame is um, nectar. They're gonna quickly become honey bound. I gotta do something about this. I wasn't gonna do anything. Oh, I gotta stuff it down in there. I wasn't really gonna do anything today with it, but I'm gonna have to, it looks like. I don't have a choice. They've got all those stuck down on the bottom. I just waited too long. Mm -mm. There's a good, nice frame of brood. Look at what this queen's doing with all that brood right there. So the next frame back, I think, is just pure honey. All right. I got to figure out what to do with these bees. There's a drone, drone comb on the bottom. Some brood right there. Okay. Look at all these darn bees. Ah, a lot of honey, lots of brood. Just an incredible swarm, incredible bunch of bees. So, typically, I don't allow my swarms to do this when I catch them. Just haven't come by, haven't come by, waited and waited, and now this is what we have. So if you leave them in the tree, into a great big huge hive like this, like they've done, just like they would if they were in a hive at your bee yard. Okay, here's the other box. Just gonna peek in here, and I'm gonna take it quite apart as much. There's the hole going in. They look very strong, though maybe not quite as strong as that other one did. Let's just peek in here and see what we got. Yes. Look at this. Okay, they haven't drawn theirs completely out yet. Looks like we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six frames of bees, and let's see. They're drawing this last frame out right here. Starting to look on the bottom. So, it's ideal if you have a box that's too deep for deep frames that you get them processed pretty quickly. They'd rather draw the comb out on the bottom than on that plastic, it looks like, which I guess that makes sense. Alright. So there we go. Yeah, these girls, this is not near as old as one. There are eggs in there, I see them. I'm not quite as desperate to get this one out of here as the other one. Although I need to go ahead and do that. I need to go ahead and do that, so. Anyway. This is more like what I'd rather really see when I find them. They haven't been in here as long, or maybe they weren't as strong when they moved in, but they're building up as well. Saw some eggs, know there's a queen. So I think I'm going to just try to go get some stuff and get these out of here. I think I'm actually going to split the other one, possibly. And uh, plenty of bees there to do that into two or three different nukes and uh, see what happens. All right, I'm going to get busy. Got to go, go home and get the stuff and come back, hopefully, before dark.